Hello, my name is Ilias Logan. I'm a dealer of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com, which gives you access to over 6,700 coins, maybe much more by the time you're watching this video. Every item I sell comes complete with a certificate of authenticity. Let me tell you this, I've identified over 28,000 authentic coins and artifacts over, over many years, obviously, but so the certificate comes complete with my signature, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, the coin in a professional coin flip that preserves the coin for generations to come with a number that matches the certificate so you can take this part off and carry around in your wallet while having beautiful certificate. And the certificate comes complete with a description that is professionally done many times citing a major reference or collection which is very important in numismatic coins and in the back you have the historical context of the item you purchased so even if you're brand new to the collecting field you this makes a great gift for yourself it makes a great gift for others and what's nice about it I believe wholeheartedly that this is a fantastic investment because most people just don't know about it so you might want to check out my website Today I'm going to be reading the history or the biography of Roman Emperor Valerian the First, Valerian I. This is, a, this is a, an enlargement of a coin in my store. This is his portrait. Uh, no busts. I was, I was not able to find any busts of the emperor, but this is how he looked like. You see, it says around here Valerianus. That's how you can identify some coins. Now I'm going to read you his biography. I have also, by the way, many silver coins of Valerian, bronze coins, and also his son Galinus. Also some coins of Valerian II too, which are uh, more scarce. Valerian, also known as a Valerian the Elder, was Roman Emperor from 253 to 260 AD. He was taken captive by the Persian King Shapur I after the Battle of Edessa, becoming the only Roman Emperor who was captured as a prisoner of war resulting in a wide-ranging instability in the empire. Valerian was of noble and traditional senatorial family. He was married to Ignatia Mariniana, who gave him two sons, later Emperor Publius Licinius Ignatius Galinus, who was known as Galinus, and Valerianus Minor. He would be known on coins as Valerian II, Valerian II. In 238, he was princeps Senatus, and Gordian I negotiated through him for senatorial acknowledgement for his claim as emperor. Under Decius, he was nominated governor of the Rhine provinces of Noricum and Raetia, and retained the confidence of his predecessor, Tribunianus Gallus, who asked him for, re for reinforcements to quell the rebellion of Aemilianus in 253 AD. Valerian headed south, but was too late. Gallus' own troops had killed him and joined Aemilianus before his arrival. The Raetian soldiers then proclaimed the Valerian Emperor and continued their march towards Rome. At the end of at the time of his arrival in September or October, Aemilianus legions defected, killing him and proclaiming, proclaiming Valerian Emperor. In Rome, the Senate quickly acknowledged him, not only for fear of reprisals, but also because he was one of their own. Valerian's first act as emperor on 22nd October 253 was to make his son Galinus his Caesar and colleague. In the beginning of his reign, the affairs of Europe went from bad to worse, and the whole west fell into disorder. In the east, Antioch had fallen into the hands of Sassanid vassals, and Armenia was occupied by Shapur I, some known as Sapor. Valerian and Galinus split the problems of the empire between the two, with the sun taking the west and the further heading the east to, to face the Persian threat. By 257, Valerian had recovered Antioch and returned the province of Syria to Roman control, but in the following year, the Goths ravaged Asia Minor. Later in 259, he moved to Edessa, but an outbreak of plague killed a critical number of legionaries weakening the Roman position in Edessa, which was then besieged by the Persians. 
At the beginning of 260, Valerian was decisively defeated in the Battle of Edessa and he arranged a meeting with Shapur to negotiate a peace settlement. The truce was betrayed by Shapur, who seized him and held him prisoner for the remainder of his life. Valerian was used as a human footstool by Shapur when mounting his horse. Then Shapur made Valerian to swallow molten gold and had the unfortunate Valerian skinned and his skin stuffed with straw and preserved as a trophy in the main Persian temple. Valerian and Galena's joint rule was threatened several times by usurpers. Despite several usurpation attempts, Galena secured the throne until his own assassination in 268 AD. So buy authentic ancient coins of Valerian and his family at my website, trustedcoins.com. Thank you.